Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, the Hobby Man. Welcome to the Toy Corner. And I think this time, I can go, I'm saying I'm going back, maybe a little back, back in the archives a little bit on this one. Um, we will be doing a review on a superhero masher from Hasbro, from the age four and up. And if you want to know more about it, hope stay tuned. Let's check out the masher review coming right right after this. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Welcome to the cor toy corner. If you stay here, mashes. Um, I. To me personally, I always found Masters to me a fun line. It was yes, it was a kid line, but some of the Masters that they they, they came out with, well, I might have to say probably may, could have been messed up a little bit also for the adult line. Now I don't have a lot of my Masters like I used to um, over the years, um, but I hope eventually I will get them back. But I can tell some of the matches that they, they came out in that year and in, in that time period that well, I would say is more of an adult line. Um, and there's one of the matches I would love to have back. I, I did have the Old Man Logan masher. And I, this is one match I do have, but I don't have it in this room. But I will show you that masher at the end of the video. And I also would give you, uh, if I think that's the correct match, the reason why, and tell you things about also about that match too. So I hope you watch the whole video to the end, and we'll check it out. But this time we'll be doing a review on my Spider-Man masher that came out. Let me show you, I got, I got the right date. Just give me a second, guys. Yeah, I was right. That came out in 2013. Um, like I said, I used, to, I used to love this line. This is, yes, it was a kid's line, but it, it, it was, to me, also a, a filler-type line for some of your action figures. Maybe something that I would also get into in a later date or another review, and I'll tell you more about it. But it was also other figures you can get in the line that I'm going to tell you what, uh, that you can get in line. Now, what we're doing a review on it would be the Spider-Man. I did have this one also, the Doom figure. I never really liked the Hulk figure. I never liked the face sculpt on the Hulk figure. And you also could get the Iron Man. And I'll tell you what, and if you don't know, know about the Masters, I'll tell you about that also in the review. Here's the side view of the picture of, of the Spider-Man. Here's the other side. And here's the front once again. Now... And the accessory, what I do with the accessory? Here's the only accessory that came with it. Now, I don't really like the accessory. Now, the accessory supposed to be more like a, um, a spider web type thing, but it really didn't look like a more like a spider web type thing. It looked more like a water effect to, more, to me, like a little bit. Now, you do have a little bit of lines in there to say it is like a spider man thing. I think they probably we could Hasbro maybe if Hasbro came out and probably painted more of a like a a white color and then more of the blue color. I think it would probably look much better than uh, than more more like a Spider Man thing to me. But um, I guess if you had more like a uh, now they do make one of those. I had one of those too, like an Ice Man type masher. I think that would this effect. Would, uh, will work much better with that. So it did come with that. Here's Spider-Man itself. Right in here. Now mashes. Now normally I do my height impression at the end of the uh, show. But I'm going to do it at the beginning. Um, height impression. Oh, he fell over. I only don't have that problem with mashes. But he fell over. I didn't have him standing straight. Um, they, they personally uh, just a little bit under six inches. But... I think this Spider-Man can get away with it a little bit because it depends on how you like your um, the Spider-Man. He can be more of a uh, you know the, the, on a teen. You say he's more like the teenager in his growing up um, stage. Or if you want him a little taller, this probably won't really fit in your more taller type Spider-Mans and everything. So his height range is, is about between. Five and a half, maybe six inches in height. Um, I do have a six inch scale figure. Let me pull them over to you here. And I'll tell you the little difference in the height 
it's not too bad. Now, this is a Marvel Legend. This Deathlock figure right here. I don't know if you're gonna stand. Now, that's a Marvel Legend, and that's a uh, the 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 the, the um, Spider-Man Masher. So you can see this pretty good um and height differences in there, but I think that's probably just right because I like my um Spider-Man on the more or the teenage type by the you know he's in that growing up stage. I like that's how I like him. So that's pretty much what I that's I think that's pretty good matchup with that on that one. Now before we get to our articulation, uh, I'm gonna go. I got a little bit. I got a little gripes about this figure a little bit, um, and I'll get into you uh, just a little bit. Uh, the now this the mashes is pretty much very self-explanatory. Um, you take you can take any part of the body that's on your original masher, masher, and put it onto another one. Now, when you do that, you just pretty much just pull that piece apart, and you see right there, it's a little peg piece right there, and then you can click another leg on there, or arm on there, or whatever you want to mash it to. Now, when you put it together, you still should get a nice little solid click now you hear that click then get that now on this arm right here this is where i had my little gripe this arm i had to put some sticky tack in there to keep it in in there if i didn't keep it in there it kept on falling off now i looked at the peg before i did the review i didn't see no cracks or nothing in there i didn't see no stress into the plastic so i don't know why it didn't stay in there so i had to take a little bit of sticky tack as you can see right there, just to keep the arm on there. Because when I put the arm on there, it came off a little too easily. And I feel that if a child got that, um, it probably well, I don't know if he, he or she probably want to play with it or what would what, what, have been the issue with. So I thought this piece right here came off a little too easy. So you shouldn't have to put no sticky tack on there to keep it on there. But I had to put it on there. I'm okay with it. I'm not going to grief with it. I still got a, the range of motion that I do need in the arm, as you can see in the bend. Uh, another gripe that I have here, yeah, I did have some scuff marks right out the packaging, if you can see right there on the foot. Also in the chin area, a little bit chip on the, um, oop, I'm going to lose y'all guys. No, knock on the camera. Um, also on the, uh, the lower chin area right there, as you can see. And my paint is a little blotchy all over. Also, you can see right there. Also, a little bit of just bleeding. Like that blue. If you look right there in the arm. You see how the blue is bleeding into the red. I mean, excuse me, the red blue into the, um, into each other. And also, that's about it. Now, let's go to articulation. Now you saw where the, you got the good range of motion in the arms on both arms. Now you see the how you see how that. And if you listen to that real closely, you, you see you hear like a click clicking sound. That's what you should hear, but in this arm you don't hear it at all. I have sometimes still push it in because of the sticky tack. Now you do get a nice good range in the arm. You can get a rotation. You can get the head to go all the way up. And deep down, no air crunch, no waist swivel, enough like that in there. That's all one basic piece. You can get the leg to bend like that. Now, your earlier mashers, they did have ankle rotation, as you can see. And this is the reason why I used to love the early ones more than the new ones, where you can get it to go like that and like that. And you can also get it to go like that. And you can get a nice, nice, good, deep in that one. And you can get the legs go out fairly decently. You can get a Van Damme spread out of that one. And you can, let's see if we can get it, a rotation, an upper thigh, but not this one. You can get it in the lower calf right there. So I can get that leg go back down. <clears throat> Shit, there you go. I had to get it to switch back around. Now, if you just hold on for one second, if I, and I see if my other master, the other master, do have. If I don't have that one, I, I, I do have another one. And guys, you are in luck. 
Here's my other masher, my Ghost Rider masher right there. Now, this is the reason why, now I don't, I'm not a really big articulated type guy, but I did get a little gripe about this with what I did not like about what Hasbro did. Let me just move the Spider-Man to one second, and I will put him, I will bring him back in because he is the star of the show. Where Hasbro took that articulation away, they moved this, this piece right here all in one piece. And when they did that, to me personally, when you're trying to get him to stand or get some of the pictures that you want to get in, you couldn't get them. Because that, that, that the ankle, um, the lower rotation in, the, uh, in here was gone. Uh, um, uh, uh, articulation was gone. You couldn't get it to move. And then this was also, I was talking about where, to me, where a lot of the, um, the matches, I think, to me, was for the more older. Sorry about the dust on him. He was in another room. Um, I got to dust him off. Um, for more for the older collector, as you notice, the Ghost Rider, you know, that's the reason why I said it's more for the older collector and everything. So this that's the reason why I, 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 I got a little upset about what Hasbro when they did that. Why they took that articulation away from that, um, the matches, I wish they kept that articulation in there. So, that is the other, I do have another, I do have some Star Wars matches, but I didn't want to move them off the shelf because they're really tight on the shelf. So, hope you enjoy my view of my Hasbro Superhero Spider-Man Masher review. So, see you on the next review with the Hobby Man on the toy corner so be safe out there and enjoy your collection and i'll talk to y'all guys later once again